Rub my head on your silicone, doubt of the bottomless pit To let the truth slip and slide off my tongue and swine Dive off my lips, no longer hold on, I'm tired of applying the grip Forget the fancy shiny rappers, I'm supplying the gifts I feel it's only right to tell you that I'm going in Showtime, hey what's up, it's your boy Big Mike once again with another video Writer and contributor of Planet Raiders Hey and we got another one for you Hey we're going to get into it real quick It's going to be cornerback from the Fighting Illini Devon Witherspoon. This is a guy that uh, he's, he, you know, he, he's more than meets the eye. He's uh, the average size corner, but he packs a punch. Guys, he packs a punch. And, you know, if he's at number seven, I wouldn't be upset if they picked him there. Um, you would hope that, that they could kind of trade back and still grab him if they do that. But if they get him at number seven, I'm okay with that. I can fully back that. Without further ado, well, actually, you know what? Before we get into it, make sure you like the thumb, hit the sub, share with your folks. Big Mike Raider. Hey, trying to make this thing grow. We're about halfway to 1K. We're almost at 500, y'all. Hey, keep it going, man. Share with your folks. Hit that like button. Without further ado, let's get into it. Devon Witherspoon, an average size corner from the University of Illinois, has way more than meets the eye, displaying a cerebral, ball-hawking physical approach to the game. In 2021, Witherspoon stacked the stat sheet with 52 tackles and eight tackles for a loss, which is exceptional for a cornerback. His reputation for being one of the most physical corners was, uh, was solidified when he added nine pass breakups this season. In 2022, Witherspoon continued his rising trajectory, earning All-American and Big Ten Defensive Back of the Year honors with 17 passes defense, 41 tackles, two and a half tackles for loss, and three interceptions. Witherspoon can be considered as the closest thing to a shutdown corner, earning a 34.9 completion rate in 2022, according to PFF. He is a heat seeker as he flawlessly zeroes in on receivers' hands of deep balls and, realized, and, and, and rallies to the ball with box safety light intensity during plays. He also shows great route recognition and instinct, stifling offenses with 14 pass breakups in 2022 in off-man coverage. His eyes are very active, placing himself in the right position on a play-by-play -play basis. All in all, Witherspoon's physicality and IQ makes up for shortcomings and should be considered an excellent option under the correct scheme. Defensive coordinator Patrick Graham will place Witherspoon in a great position, highlighting his strengths with cover three and cover six schemes on early downs. On obvious passing downs, Witherspoon can use more of his strengths of anticipating the route recognition under Graham. If the Raiders do select Witherspoon, it would be ideal to select him after a possible trade back, as it will be a bit of a reach to acquire him at number seven. However, if the Raiders brass absolutely love Witherspoon to where they do select him at seven, I stand behind this move with a solid deal of confidence. Guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. And that is the breakdown, guys. That is the breakdown of Devin Witherspoon. What do you guys think? I think that number seven is a little bit of a reach to pick him. Uh, however, I do like the pick if we do get him at number seven. Um, it, it, it would give me like a B grade if we did do that. Um, however, he is probably considered one of the best corners coming out of this out of this uh, draft. Um, it's been uh, – there is reports out there. There's uh, scouting reports out there that – uh, a lot of teams are going to shy away from him because of uh, a scheme fit. Uh, he doesn't, he lacks that top end speed when he does get beat. Uh, he, he um, it's hard for him to kind of recover and uh, catch up to those speedy receivers. Um, and that might be problematic when it comes to, you know, being in man coverage. So, you know, scheme fit is a big deal, but I do think this scheme uh, where the Raiders, as constructed with the Raiders, it works for him perfectly. So, number seven, if that does happen, I'm all for it, guys. What do you guys think? You guys let me know. Hey, and that's your video for the day. We're going to have day four tomorrow where we cover Kalaja Kansi, defensive tackle out of Pittsburgh. Guys, before you guys head out, make sure you like the thumb, hit the sub, share with your folks. Big Mike Raider. Hey, and like I said, we're trying to make this thing grow. We're almost at 500, and we're trying to get to 1K. Now, with that, like I said, I'm Big Mike, writer and contributor for Planet Raiders. You guys have a good one, and take care.
Have they ever seen another like me living giant type Step in your house above my head on when you're sitting Climbed out of the bottomless pit To let the truth slip and slide off my tongue And swine dive off my lips No longer hold on, I'm tired of applying the grip Forget the fancy shiny rappers, I'm supplying the gifts I feel it so